but just maybe the franchise owes Asian guys one after <laughs> all this. Guys, listen, I got endless evidence of this. The next James Bond is going to be Asian, or at least it should be, and here's why. Yeah, this next shark list is going viral right now because Daniel Craig is retiring. They listed off seven Western Asian actors that potentially could take over the franchise. They swap them in, they swap them out. Traditionally, it's always a Skyrish, Irish, British guy, but a lot of people were talking about the next James Bond being Idris Elba as well, so this was sparking a ton of internet comments all over the place. Some are in support of an Asian James Bond, some are against it, and of course, everything in between. All right, everybody, we're gonna go through the comments section. We're gonna go through this list of different Asian actors, suggest some other ones that weren't on the list, and then also make a case on why an Asian James Bond actually makes some sense. So please hit that like button, check out other episodes of the Hot Pop Boys. David, first of all, I wanna say, I think it'd be really cool to see Idris Elba, who is a British African actor, to be in James Bond shoes. And I think he has been the most talked about. Now, obviously a lot of people don't like the race swapping and it's like, oh, well, you know, James Bond is traditionally, according to the source media, it has to be a Scottish, Irish, uh, British, Naval, Secret Service man, whatever. And I'm like, I get that. I get that. If it's they a don't, valid point. If they don't change James Bond's ethnicity ever, I'm not mad either. I still think there is plenty of good white guys out there, but I think it'd be cool. Shout out to Idris, killed it in uh, a Stringer Bell. In the whirlwind of conversations around me playing James Bond, I've always said, look, you know, wait till we see John Luther in a movie because I feel like the real estate is the same. Um, Andrew, I do also think there's a case for an Asian guy to be James Bond. Well, you know why? 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 Did, why, why should, because why should James since, Bond be Asian? Because since James Bond 007's inception, Andrew, there have been so many hyper evil bad negative Asian male characters and there have been so many beautiful hot sexy Asian women who have gotten with James Bond maybe just maybe I'm not saying this is the way the world works I'm not saying that it's everything's always fair but just maybe the franchise owes Asian guys one after <laughs> all this guys listen I got endless evidence of this this is so stereotypical to like Anglo-Saxon narratives on Asian men it's like listen James uh you know you've uh you, you've got with a lot of Asians and you've killed a lot of Asian dudes, so why don't we just make you Asian now? Like, <laughs> it just makes sense. No, we're still up in the game 65 to zero. Let's All make right. it 75 but to zero. If James Bond is Asian, obviously he can't have the Asian glow because that would totally break his cover. No, he takes the Pepsi at AC maximum strength before the uh, shaking off. I will say, Martins. because James Bond takes place so much in Europe, would he stick out like a sore thumb if it was an Asian guy? Um, but anyways, David, here's a list of seven Asian men who could potentially play James Bond. And the first one I think is possibly the best pick. Let's go into the list. But I don't know if Bond can be a Chinese. <laughs> All right, Andrew, the first pick is Henry Golding. He himself is half British, half Malaysian himself. Yeah. Um, you know, looks Asian, also has the charming British accent, like, yeah. not scared to Singapore, I mean, my mom. Yeah, he has some action background from Snake Eyes. He led that entire movie. Also, uh, yeah, he's always, he has a James Bond charm, and uh, he was already, uh, he was already in a British movie. Oh, one, yeah, right, right, right. Um, I forgot the title. I would say but. from what I read in the comments section, and even white British guys of everybody on this list, he was the only guy that they were like at least 50-50 on. Everybody else to them was like a hard no. Well, is it also because he's half British? By yeah, blood? yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah, he has the accent. He's already talks like James Bond to an extent. Um, moving on, Andrew, number two was John Cho. Looks great in the tux. Mm -hmm. Um, Yo, know, I don't really perceive John Cho as an action star, but he totally does look the part. Yeah, I think he could definitely play an agent, but maybe not James Bond, because I do think James Bond should Ooh. stay British. Yo. He should have a British accent. What if John Cho was Q? Because you know Q should have been Indian uh, or Asian by now. There's or like, What if James Bond's Asian and Q's Indian? That would also make a lot of sense. Ooh, like a Harold and Kumar. Yeah. But, in the, uh, but, but David, also, I think Indians have a case too, because the next person, Dev Patel, there's a lot of Indians in Britain. Oh, there's a lot more Indians than East Asians or Southeast Asians, I David, believe, actually. I got this idea. What if the next James Bond, they make a story where either it's a spinoff, but James Bond is Gurung of the Nepal? Because there's a lot of a lot of Nepalese went to oh, British colonies. Oh, Gurkha, sorry, yes. The Gurkhas, the fighters from right. Nepal. We typically are Gurungs too, but yeah. not always. Um, Andrew, Louis Tan. Is actually British. Oh yeah, I didn't yeah. know that. No, he's a he's an action guy. He's a little bit young, 
I feel like, but he could play. He kind of has the stature. He's kind of big. I believe he's half British or half Irish and half Chinese. Well, he's half uh, white, yes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and uh, number two, uh, we got Riz Ahmed. Mm. Shout out to Riz Ahmed. You know, I actually looked up a bunch of music videos of Riz Ahmed rapping with hemes from uh, Dash Racist. Yeah, he's also British too. Um, I think he would work. Yeah, he could work. He looks good in a suit. Um, Harry Shum Jr., uh, Harry Shum, I think, works for a lot of things, but I don't know if I would see him as a James Bond. I could see him definitely in the movie somehow, though. Almost like, it's kind of messed up to say, but almost like a executive rich business guy where you don't know which side he's on. Like, he could be on the good side or the bad mm. side. Next up, they have Benedict Wong. Um, I don't even know why they threw this one in there because obviously Benedict Wong, shout out to him, Got a lot of love for him. Does not look like James Bond at all. Actually looks visually a lot more like Odd Job, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. Uh, shout out to him, though. He's a great actor, though, regardless. Um, special mention, Gemma Chan. What if there was a female James Bond? That's She's not- British. She actually looks like a Bond girl yeah. and sounds like a Bond girl immediately, but why not just flip it and have her almost like an atomic blonde Charlize yeah. Theron type thing. I, I do like how they picked a lot of British Asian actors. I also think Daniel Henney has the look. I don't know if he has the acting chops. Daniel Wu would also work, but he's not British at all. Simu Liu, of course, you know, as a Marvel action superhero. And then Send Hill, Rama Murthy. I actually really like him from Heroes. I think he has a really cool look, and he looks like he could be a cool super. Some people agent. were also naming off um, Indian action stars from Bollywood movies, yeah. you know, like Khan and things but like that. But you know what's really interesting, Dave? I'm not going to lie. In the West, we don't see a lot of Indian action stars. I know there's a lot of Indian action movies in Bollywood, but there's not a lot of Indians doing Ooh. action in Hollywood. Yo, you saying James Bond new, new move could be a backhanded slap? Like, pop, and the guy goes, woo! Just like I'm just saying there, there's a long history of Indians in Britain, so I think it's also likely that he could be Indian British or half. Yeah, from a practical standpoint, I don't know. I, Henry Golding sounds like the most practical realistically because he's still going to be like, yes, like, you know, he's going to fit in with MI6. They're not going to be like, chinky, chinky, <laughs> like everywhere he goes, you know. No, right. Well, he can go to Czech Republic and Russia and kind, kind of, of blend ethnically in. ambiguous, yeah. Yeah, 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 he could do it. Anyways, David, let's get into the comments section. Somebody said, oh, yeah, well, they're going to make the movie Rifesons to Kill. I want to shake it, master. I always think that Yahoo comments is hilarious because it's like a 60-year-old guy who won class clown in high school from Montana yeah. leaving comments, but it still made me laugh. The next comment is, people just need to create their own spy novels. Please leave the current stories alone. Now, I get why they'd say this, but also that's like saying, oh, you can't, have any sort of creative license or creative liberties with old classics. You know, people take history and redo history in movies all the time. Yeah, I do see that to some extent, though, that you could just create these mixed characters like John Wick. You know how, like, John Wick... Well, I, I think he be, became progressively more Asian through the John Wick series. Keanu himself is, like, a half Asian. But, like... uh I'm saying that it's sometimes it's cooler to create new franchises, but it's much harder than using old intellectual property. Yeah, I get that James Bond is a little bit so long of a running of a legacy that to switch him up, it would be tough. But I'm just saying it wouldn't super bother me. It wouldn't bother me if they didn't switch him from a white guy. Either. But I do think with all the race changing uh, for like Little Mermaid, I do think a lot of like older white people, whether they're in England or the uh, America, but specifically for this James Bond character, more England are triggered. Oh, and please somebody said, keep James Bond. You can take everything else, but keep James. <laughs> I'd rather see an Asian Mr. Bain before I see 007. <laughs> um, somebody said, uh, sometimes I feel like Yahoo throws these articles out there like red meat into shark waters to throw everybody into a racial divide and racial frenzy. And someone said, you know, personally me, I'm not a very right wing person. Person, but I can see why they are triggered. The right wing hears a lot about replacement theory and then Hollywood goes out and gives them proof to validate their opinions. Yeah. I mean, this is kind of a serious direction for this article to take, but it's real, right? Well, it's funny because this article was actually posted by an Asian person on Next Shark, but it also gets posted on Yahoo, which otherwise, if it did not get posted on Yahoo, no non-Asians would have seen it. And this wouldn't have even been a frenzy at all. So it's kind of funny. Somebody said James Bond is Scottish Irish in the story and needs to pass as one. There are the other characters you can have, but just not this one. This one's sacred to us. Well, also, let's be honest. James Bond is like a cool ass character. He is a dude who gets all the women. He always wins. He knows how to fight everybody. And he's super classy. And, and he's not 
cheesy like Captain Kirk was. Because no. like, Captain Kirk was getting all the alien women in Star Trek, but there was always a cheesiness to Captain Kirk. Like, no, you know, David, like, James Bond, if you think about it, is kind of the beacon of the Anglo-Saxon classic man. Right. So they don't want him to go away. I get why they hold on to James Bond. I get it. Because he's cool and he's not like cheesy in the Captain America, like I said, Captain Kirk way. He's classy it's... though. I'm saying he's a gentleman. Somebody said if Netflix made this, they would put either Janelle Monet or Brittany Griner as James Bond. <laughs> That's crazy. No, I think they would just create a new character at that point. Somebody said, yeah, uh, it's going to be great when they remake Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon with Henry Cavill, huh? Yeah, that'd be good, too. Of course, this is a comment from a white person who's like, yeah, how would you guys like that if we did Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon? But here's the thing. I actually think Chinese audiences, provided that Henry Canville learned Mandarin to like at least a four out of ten level and learned all the wushu forms, I think they would love it. That'd be interesting. Or at least they'd be like very, very intrigued. Right. Um, somebody said switching him to be Asian would be good for the global market. If you study the macroeconomics, the next century is going to heavily be in Asia in terms of business economic activity. Mm. What do you think of this, Andrew? There's a lot of like money considerations to shift things towards Asia. Obviously, the luxury brands, uh, LVMH, essentially has already gotten on that train. Yeah, I, uh, I do agree that starting your own original IP is actually maybe more interesting. That way you can tie in more of the backstory of this Asian secret agent versus just facially swapping James Bond. You know what I mean? Because then are you going to swap James Bond's whole background or is this a spinoff? I could see a spinoff, but I don't think James Bond does spinoffs. So that's why. Yeah, let's get into our takeaways, Andrew. This is such a silly thing. But like you said, you know, the situation, uh, I'm sorry, the comment section often uh, creeps into serious waters. Why not do a video... Uh, a movie, I'm sorry, where there's a bunch of different James Bonds of a bunch of different ethnicities. Oh, you mean like a James Bond, like Spidey-verse? Yeah, you can still keep, no, no, not a Spidey-verse, but like maybe still keep the main guy who's James Bond, you know, keep him white or British or whatever like that, but then like have everybody else around him almost have equal footing and, you know, kind of representing different things. Yeah, I mean, I, I think that's, uh, they could definitely do like a better job of that. I, I think at the end of the day, it's going to come down to what sells. And if somebody, if they really truly feel like putting Idris Elba in there or getting an Asian guy or getting Henry Golding would sell it, then I think they'll do it. And obviously Henry Golding, to be honest, being half white, although he's half Asian, it still does make him visually look a little bit more white. So I guess like it's easier for white people to like stomach that, to be honest. Right, right. I guess the facial ridges are just more similar to them or at least halfway similar to them. Right. But honestly, also, David, do articles like this just divide people? That's another question. Um... You know, I think the divisiveness is already there, to be honest. It just brings it to the surface. I generally believe that it's hard for people to stay angry about something for like 10 to 20 years. Mm. I would rather bring it up. Do I think all the divisiveness on the internet has surprised me and the lack of nuance and thinking and the lack of like care and the lack of like diverse upbringing that most people have is shocking to me? A little tiny bit. But my general opinion is that all this discourse and debate eventually will lead to at least... Uh, more advanced opinions. Mm, I think. That's good. But no. I don't know. I don't know. I, would I bet my life on it? I'm not sure. I'm not that sure. Well, you guys let us know in the comments down below. Personally, again, you know, for me, I don't mind if they keep James Bond white, although I think that there are some other viable non-white James Bonds out there. And if they think it will sell and make the story good, then so be it. What about a guy who seems like he's cool with other races who's white, like a Timothy Chalamet? You know, Leonardo DiCaprio. <laughs> I don't know. I think they have a lot of, like, some mixed friends, you know? Right, right, right. Anyways, guys, let us know in the comments down below who is another suggestion that you have. Maybe who's another white actor that you think should replace James Bond, another black or Latino or Asian actor who should. Let us know in the comments down below. And until next time, we out. Peace. Peace.